everyone, welcome back to Inno TV. I'm Rita, and today we're having our senior engineer from Global Technical Service Division, Leo. Hello, Leo. Hello. Okay, so in this episode, we're gonna talk about the failure analysis cases of DRAM products. So first, I'd like to ask, um, how would you usually handle the customer complaints of DRAM products? Okay, so for the failure analysis cases, we will have the standard procedure for it. And the first, we will try to duplicate the phenomena uh, on our play phone to see if we can see the same issue that customer replaced to us. Uh, if we were not able to duplicate, we will have to ask customer to give us more detailed information, such as the test environment or the test method. So, seems like it's very significant to collect the correct information at the first moment, right? Yes, the right information can step up the time of the issue duplicating. Okay, so um, what to do when we already recognize the issues of the products? Next, we will do the following step for the analysis, okay? Okay. So the first is the appearances check. In this stage, we will use the microscope to check the appearances if we can find any problem. Oh, okay. So what kind of conditions can we usually see or tell from the outward appearance? Usually, we can see some scratches or stain on the PCB or on the gold finger. And then what if there's no uh, exterior damage on the surface? We will run the SPD integrity test for the data in it. We will check the integrity of the SPD information if there is any crash or data loss in it. If not, we will run the electrical test with several test machines for cross-check. Okay, and what are those checking steps? There will be three steps. First is the open short test. In this test, we will use a special equipment to check the circuit on the memory to see if there is any problem on it or on the any damage part. And by following the result of it, we will check the solubility of the damage part by using the X-ray or the side scope. And after that, we will arrange a swap test. And through all the test that we do before, now we will run the real test on the motherboard. So through all the steps we do before, now we are test with the real motherboard. Here we are using the tool named IRAN, which is developing by ourselves. IRAN is developing for the Arduino and ECC module. Not like Mentes can only show error message like ECC problem is happening. It can directly point out the problem is which ICSDQ. Overall, through all the tests we have done, now we can find the root cause and make the FI report to our customer. I see. So those are the steps for DRAM product analysis. Yes, for the standard project it is. But if the customer needs the special test method like the high temperature, or some others, we can all discuss with them and make the progress. Thank you, Leo, for your comprehensive introduction. And I believe we all learn a lot about the failure analysis procedure of DRAM products. And so compared with our competitors, what are our core value and advantages of the FAE department? OK, we think we have three advantages on the internal, external, and with our supply chain. On internal, because we will study each case we have done, and we will make a feedback suggestion to the BU. And for external to our customer, we also provide a technical support. So if they have any questions such as a power consumption or compatible issue, we can all help. And we also collect the information of the compatible issue and make a notify to the BU so they can allow other customer in the earlier stage. And last, with the supply chain, because we have the good relationship with them. Mm -hmm. So if we have any component issue, like the IC or the PCB, we can all get help from them. The tech support from Samsung, such as that. I see. So I think that's why you should all choose Inodisk's DRAM modules, because you're not only getting the best quality products, but also the best after-sales services. OK, and if you like this video, please give us a thumb up and share this video to your friends and colleagues. And also, remember to subscribe our channel so you won't miss any interesting videos in the future. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.